Welcome to another TPO Fly of the Month. Uh, this month we're going to tie one of my favorite dropper nymph patterns that I fish dry dropper with. Um, you can put the hot spot behind the bead, you can put the hot spot in the rear end of the fly. For this one we're going to put the hot spot at the rear end of the fly. So I'm going to start with Datum Glow Bright number 5. So I'm going to use for the hot spot. For the tails, I'm going to use Coq de Leon Medium. That's my thread all the way to the front of the hook here. I'm going to take my scissors, cut. Now, the size hook I'm using here is a size 15 103 BL. You can make this fly, you know, in a regular hook size anywhere from a 14 all the way down into the 20s. Just adjust your size bead appropriately. Now here, I'm gonna take an olive quill, and that's gonna be my body. I've changed threads, if you notice, to an olive thread. Now I'm gonna get a very smooth body under body on the fly. I'm gonna come back with my scissors and this is a really quick and easy fly to tie because that's the you know these are the ones that we like the most the ones that are the easiest. Now I'm gonna take my hackle pliers I'm gonna squeeze down on the hackle pliers and I'm gonna use that to bring this around the hook. If you look, I have very nice segmentation because of the quill. From dark olive to light olive. And I think that that's one of the triggers that makes the fish take the fly. Alright, so now for the next step to make this fly pretty much indestructible. I'm going to take Clear Cure Goo, Hydro, get my light, just a little bit, it's a little too much, so here, before I put the light on it, I could take my fingers and get the excess, and here I'm going to shine the light on it. and that's going to cure it and now you have a coating on there that's better than any kind of glue it's almost an epoxy so it's really hard this makes the fly really durable and now the last part of this fly really simple I'm going to take spiky squirrel dubbing Bring the thread up, and I'm just going to dub right behind the bead. That's it. A nice spiky collar. And that's the fly. Not rocket science. Very simple in design. It's tied in the round. It looks the same from all the different angles, as you can see. Has that nice segmentation. And this is one where you will catch a lot of fish.